Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daisy and today I'm going to be watching another scary movie, I think. Pretty sure this is scary. Today's movie is called The Shining. I recently watched a couple of scary movies. I uh, thought it would be appropriate for the month of October that you guys actually recommended. So I asked you to give me some suggestions for um, this month and uh, you guys recommended The Exorcist and Hereditary. Both of those are already up on the channel uh, on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. And today we're going to be watching The Shining. I have heard of this title, like the title of this movie before, but I have no idea what it's about. Um, I know that it came out in the 80s in 1980 actually. So it came out some time ago, but yeah, I don't know. Like maybe there's references that I'll understand after I see it because again, this is like a movie that I always hear the name for. So imagine that a lot of people must have watched it and um but i just i don't know anything about it i'm going in completely blind so we'll see what this is about but yeah i'm, I'm like i don't know i feel like i never know if i should say i'm excited to watch these movies because i feel like halfway through i might regret that i started watching them so we'll see what happens with this one hopefully this is not something that's going to keep me up at night or anything like that but we'll see but before i jump into it i do want to let you guys know that all of my uh, movie reactions and everything that i've reacted to on the show on the channel so far is all up on patreon and it's uncut full reactions um and i also like to post everything on there a little bit early so feel free to check that out if you're interested um the other thing is just if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i would really love it if you subscribed um i don't watch a ton of scary movies but maybe i'll start to get more into them kind of just dipping my toes right now most of the stuff i watch if you guys have been following me is more like classic movies that are not super scary but leave me your recommendations what do you guys think i should want but i look forward to reading your comments so let me know subscribe if you haven't already and that is all i have to say so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump in this place looks beautiful but this music is making me feel like this place is also terrifying <laughs> what's happening i have my notebook and pen ready so i don't forget people's names <laughs> Like this looks like a beautiful wooded area, all these pine trees, but this music, gosh. Jack Nicholson, I'm sure I've seen him before. I feel like I always hear his name. I'm not sure if I've seen him in anything recently. The Shining, what is that referring to? I'm so curious. Oh, is that a car that's broken down? If this had other music, I would think this is like a fun road trip. Everything's wonderful. Starting to get into some snowy area. The interview. I got an appointment with Mr. Allman. My name's Jack Torrance. His office is the first door on the left. Thank you. She sounded like she had an accent. I wonder if this is somewhere outside of the country. Mr. Allman? Yes? I'm Jack Torrance. Oh, well, come on in. Or maybe it's just because she works in a hotel. A lot of people speak different languages there. This is my secretary, Susie. Hello. Susie, how do you do? Oh, Colorado. What about Tony? He's looking forward to the hotel, I bet. Tony, it's a torch. That's Tony. Grab a chair, Bill, join in. Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this winter. Mm. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Um, teaching's been more or less a way of making ends meet. Well, this ought to be quite a change for you. Mm. The season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th. Then we close down completely. That's why you do that. The skiing up here. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Oh, it sure would be. The problem is the enormous cost. Oh. It's a 25-mile stretch of road. Gets an average of 20 feet of snow during. Wow. The basic idea is to, to cope with the very costly damage and depreciation which can occur. And this consists mainly of running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel. <gasps> so he's going to be by himself? The only thing that can get a bit trying Lonely, probably. is a uh, tremendous sense yeah. of isolation. Well, that <clears throat> just happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. Mm. I'm outlining a new writing project, and uh, five months of peace is just what I want. I guess he came to the right place. He can be all by himself. For some people, uh, 
solitude and isolation can of itself become a problem. Not for me. Especially during the winter when it's like dark. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? Ooh, an accident? From what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of... Oh, no. Ran amok and uh, killed his family. <gasps> axe. Killed his family. He put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Wow. Claustrophobic reaction, which can occur when people are shut in together over long periods of time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's still hard for me to believe it, actually. And the thing is, since the roads are closed off, it's not like you can quit halfway through if he feels like he can't handle it. I also understand why your people in Denver left it for you to tell me. Mm. Well, obviously, I mean, some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where some... Uh, yeah, of course. As far as my wife is concerned, uh, I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her. Oh my god, you're probably not going to tell her. A, uh, confirmed ghost story in horror. Oh, okay. Well, in that case. Oh my gosh, he's making me nervous. <laughs> what? What is all of this? What? What? Someone's having a bad dream. What's, oh my god, what? Who saw that? What's the next thing you remember after you were brushing your teeth? I don't know, saying, wake up, wake up. Wake up, Danny, wake up. Now, Danny. <gasps> she, like, passed out or something. Is Tony one of your animals? No, he's a little bit that in my mouth. Does Tony ever tell you to do things? I don't want to talk about Tony anymore. I don't like this, Tony. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Most of the time, these episodes with kids are never explained. They're more akin to auto-hypnosis, a kind of self-induced trance. Hmm. If it reoccurs. All of these explanations, I don't know. I guess Danny started talking to Tony about the time we put him in nursery school. Did he adjust well to school? Mm, no. Oh. And then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while, and... What sort of injury did he have? Hmm. Uh, he dislocated his shoulder. How did he manage to do that? Just one of those things, you know. No. Purely an accident. Uh, what things? My husband had been drinking, and he came home about three hours late, so he wasn't exactly in the greatest. <sighs> Danny had scattered some of his school papers all over the room, and my husband grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from strength, and he injured Danny's arm. Oh, yeah, that's not good. He hasn't had any alcohol in uh, five months. I don't like that uh, either. Closing day. Okay, let's see. Oh, now they're all going. Dad? Yes? I'm hungry. Well, you should have eaten your breakfast. Aww. Hey, wasn't it around here that the Donner Party... <gasps> what? I think that was farther west in the Sierras. <laughs> what was the Donna party? They had to resort to cannibalism in order to stay they alive. Explain cannibalism to the child. You mean they? <laughs> oh, he knows. Okay. Don't worry, Mom. I know all about cannibalism. I saw it on TV. <laughs> what? Gosh, again with this music. I would be scared to stay there by myself. I mean, even if I'm with my family for that long, even for one night. We had uh, four presidents who stayed here. Wow. Lots of movie stars. Royalty? <laughs> Royalty. What is he seeing? Oh, he's seeing them again. Oh, I don't like this. And the way they looked at each other, oh. Living room, bedroom, bathroom, and a small bedroom for your son. It's much bigger than the apartment they were living in, I think. Well, the place is very nicely self-contained. I mean. It's easy to keep. If you include the whole hotel, it's enormous, obviously, but. 
Yes, very cozy for a family. And if you feel like spreading out, you have the rest of the hotel to move around in. Well, it's very, uh... I mean, but it is very cozy if they're going to be trapped there pretty much for so long. The hedge is about as old as the hotel itself. It's a lot of fun, but I wouldn't want to go in there unless I had an hour to spare to find my way out. Oh. <laughs> uh, funny. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground. Burial ground. We can accommodate up to 300 people here very comfortably. Boy, I bet you we could really have a good party in this room. Uh. We always remove all the booze from the premises when we shut down. That reduces the insurance we normally have to carry. We don't drink. Mm. Yeah, this whole place is such an enormous maze. I feel like I'll have to leave a trail of breadcrumbs every yeah. time I come in. <laughs> you like a map or something. Oh. Now, this is where we keep all of our meat. 50 sirloin steaks, two dozen of pork rolls, okay, and 20 legs set, of lamb. I was wondering if they had to go somewhere for food, like a nearby town or something, but I guess not. How do you know we call him Doc? You called Danny Doc twice just now. I did? Yeah. Well, I guess I probably heard you call him that. Um, what? But I honestly don't remember calling him that since we've been with you. Well, anyway, he looks like a doc, doesn't he? Yeah. What's up, doc? <laughs> um, no, he doesn't. How did you know? <laughs> this is where we keep all the dry goods and the canned goods. We got canned fruits and vegetables, canned fish and meat. What's that sound? Oatmeal, wheat, thin, and cream, wheat. What is that sound? Oh, he's seeing something. Oh, there's something about this guy. How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? <gasps> you know, Mrs. Turns, you gotta keep regular if you want to be happy. <laughs> Weird. You folks don't mind if I give Danny some ice cream while I'm waiting no. for you. No, we don't mind. Good. Sound good to you, Doc? Yeah. Okay, you behave yourself. I don't like this. Why? What kind of ice cream do you like, Doc? Chocolate. Chocolate it shall be. Come on. Why, why, why does he have to stay alone with him? There's something odd without him. The little girls. Oh. Do you know how I knew your name? I want to know. Tell me. I can remember when I was a little boy. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. What? We called it shiny. How long have you been able to do it? Why don't you want to talk about it? Oh, gosh. I'm not supposed to. <gasps> Why? Tony. Tony is a little boy that loves my mouth. Is Tony the one that tells you things? Yes. How does he tell you that? Oh, gosh. Does your mom and dad know about Tony? Yes. Do they know he tells you that? You think he's an imaginary friend. Has Tony ever told you anything about this place? I don't know. Now think real hard, Doc. Think. <laughs> Maybe he showed me something. He doesn't want to say. Are you scared of this place? No. You know, some places are like people. Some shine and some don't. Oh, what? Like some tell you things? Is there something bad here? Why is he hesitating? Well. It's a yes or no question. Maybe things that happen leave other kind of traces behind. Not things that anyone can notice, but things that people who shine... Can see. Great. Just like they can see things that haven't happened yet. Well, they can see things that have sometimes happened. Sometimes they can see things that happen. <gasps> I think a lot of things happen right here, and not all of them was good. What about room two thirty seven? Room two thirty seven. Room two thirty seven. You're scared of room two thirty seven, ain't you? No, I ain't. What? Mr. Allen. What is in room 237? Nothing. I think there's something. Nothing in room 237. I don't believe it. You got no business going in there anyway. So stay out. You understand? Stay out. <gasps> A month later. So it's like November now. And they should be pretty much settled in. 
But I want to know if he has seen anything this month. I'm sure he has. He was seeing stuff the first day. Well, he knows his way around now. <laughs> He's just doing laps. It's really nice up here, isn't it? I love it. I really do. Peaceful. Yeah, it's amazing how fast you get used to such a big place. When we first came up here, I thought it was kind of scary. Yeah. When I came up here for my interview, it was almost as though I knew what was going to be around every corner. There's no need for that. This place is already scary. There's no need for that. I don't know why every sound here, like, makes me feel nervous. Like, I know that's, yeah, I knew there was, like, a ball bouncing somewhere. Even the little kid on, like, the tricycle he was riding. Look Are they going to go inside the maze? In oh, no. I don't like that. How long is it going to take them? And they're even, it's not even, like, you have a cell phone. <laughs> You're just stuck out there. A map of the maze to the center. What's happening? Oh, okay, it's just Tuesday. <laughs> Why Tuesday? What's happening on Tuesdays? Tuesday, a special day. <gasps> is he passing by that room? What was it, 237? Oh, he is. There was something about that room. Oh my gosh, is he gonna... You were told to stay away. There you go, it's locked. Time to leave. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at him speeding up. Oh, he's like, I'm out of here. Okay, he's finally writing. So much build up. Oh, <laughs> he's just tearing a page or taking it out of the typewriter. Weather forecast said it's gonna snow tonight. What do you want me to do about it? Don't be so grouchy. I just want to finish <laughs> my work. But... Okay, I <sighs> in here. That means that I am working. That means don't come in. How do you think you can handle that? Oh. Why don't you start right now and get the fuck out of here? Oh my gosh. Like, his point is completely valid. It's just the delivery. Thursday. So, yep, I was thinking we should be seeing some snow. Oh, what's going on with him? Oh my gosh, that was creepy. Okay, now it's Saturday. We keep skipping a day. Is she trying to make a phone call? This looks like the operator thing. This is KDK-12 calling KDK-1. Hi, how are you folks getting on up there? Over? Oh, we're just fine. But our telephones don't... Mm, yeah, that's what I thought. Any chance of them being repaired soon? Probably not. Well, I wouldn't like to say. Most winters, they stay that way until spring. Until spring? Oh, yes. It's one of the worst we've had for years. Great. Is there anything else we can do for you, Mrs. Horn? <laughs> she just wants to chat. I would be scared to be riding around by myself all day. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Now they're talking to him and they know his name. Come and play with us. No. Come and play no, with don't. us, Daddy. <gasps> oh my god. I. Oh. That just gave me chills. Oh my gosh. Tony? Why? No. Don't talk to Tony. I don't trust him either. Remember what Mr. Halloran said? 
It's just like pictures in a book, Danny. It isn't real. Monday. I keep skipping a day every time. Sure. Great. Sit down. He's like, no more riding around. <laughs> Let's just watch some TV instead. Mom? Yeah? Oh, you drink coffee, don't Can you? I go to my room and get my fire engine? Mm. Not right now. Daddy's asleep. I won't make any noise. Can't you wait till later? I won't make a sound, I promise I'll tiptoe. She said, no, not a good idea. And make sure you come right back, because I'm going to make lunch soon. Okay? Okay, Mom. Oh, gosh. I mean, last time we saw Dad, he had a really scary look on his face, I think. Oh, he's awake. May I go to my room and get my fire engine? Come here for a minute first. Why? What's wrong with him? I think he's like, there's something wrong with him. Is he like sleepwalking, but like sitting down? That's a thing. I don't know. Do you feel bad? So tired. Then maybe you should get some sleep. Then why don't you go to sleep? Yeah. I can't. You got too much to do. But you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there. Just sleep. Do you like this hotel? Yeah. Don't you? I guess so. Mm -hmm. I want you to like it here. Why? Like, what is so I funny? Wish we could stay here forever, ever. Why is he talking like those little girls? You would never hurt mommy and me, would you? Oh my gosh. I love you, Danny. I love you more than anything else. Mm. I would never do anything to hurt you. Other than give him a really terrifying look and smile. <laughs> Wednesday. There has to be a reason why we keep skipping a day, I feel. like. <gasps> oh, what? Who did that? Where did, what? No, there's no one there. Where did that come from? Please don't explore... Okay, yes, call your mom. Go find your mom. But not in the direction from that ball came. Mom! <sighs> that door is open. And I think that's 237. Why is he playing by that room? And it's open. Mom, are you in there? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh. What? Why is it? What? Where's that scream coming from? Why is he screaming? What? <gasps> what is happening to him? <gasps> is he okay? What's wrong? Jane! Is he having a nightmare? Well, I dreamed that I, that I killed you and Danny. Oh my gosh. But I didn't just kill you. I cut you up into little pieces. What? <laughs> it, it, everything's gonna be all right. I think you are losing your mind. Oh, oh gosh. And now he's coming out of that room he was in, 237. Okay. Are his clothes torn? Just go play in your room for a while. Your dad's just got a headache. Danny, not what I say. Go play in your room. Oh, no. Something's going on with Danny now. Danny. <gasps> I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Danny, what happened to your neck? Danny, what happened to your neck? The, oh my God. What happened? Did he do something to him? 
His father? Did he do something to Danny? You did this to him, didn't you? What? How could you? Oh. What do you mean, oh? Oh my gosh, he is not okay. What is happening though? I mean, he's not getting drunk or anything because he said that they would get rid of all the alcohol in that bar. Hi, Lloyd. What? A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, what? You set him up and I'll knock him back, Lloyd. One by one. Oh, the way he's talking. Here's to five miserable months <sighs> on the wagon and all the irreparable harm that it's caused me. I think he's just having a dream. Women can't live with them, can't live without them. Words of wisdom, Lloyd. Words of wisdom. If he's not dreaming, he's like regularly doing this and something weird is happening here, obviously. But I just don't know, like, what is... I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. I love the little son. What about the dislocated shoulder? Long as I live, she'll never let me forget what happened. I did hurt him once, okay? Right, okay. <laughs> oh! <sighs> What's going on? Okay, yeah, so he's like hallucinating or something. I don't even know. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to straighten up. <gasps> he went up into one of the bedrooms. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. Oh, boy. Which room was it? 237. Colorado, 10 inches of snow has fallen in just a few hours. I'm confused. Where are we now? Oh my goodness, what is he hearing? Where is his eyes going like that? Reminds me of what happens sometimes with Danny. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What is he seeing? I'm so scared. Is this what he's seeing? Oh my God, what is happening to him? Is he having like a seizure? What's in here? What's in here? Is this where the lady in the bathtub was? Oh gosh, what are we gonna see? 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 Oh, there is someone there. I think he's hallucinating again. I mean, there isn't someone actually staying in this room. Like, what is happening? This is like the bartender situation. What is he seeing now? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Did you find anything? No, nothing at all. Why is he lying? I didn't see one goddamn thing. That's not helpful. What about those bruises on his neck? Somebody did that to him. Exactly, explain that. I think he did it to himself. Why is he? I mean, is he trying to not make her nervous or something? Because if he saw something, this isn't helpful. What did that say? Red. I think it said murder backwards. It was too fast. Get him out of here? You mean just leave the hotel? <laughs> oh my God! Not gonna let you fuck this up. 
Oh no, what? Are you serious? This guy's still trying to get through. There's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. I'd sure appreciate it if you'd give them a call on your radio. Uh, why don't you call me back in about uh, 20 minutes? Thank you very much. I'll do that. <sighs> So he's just going to go to the party. Like, whatever. This is normal. Oh my gosh. What? Good evening, Mr. Torrance. He's not okay. I'm just worried about his wife and kid. What would be so? Hair of the dog that bit me. Bourbon on the rocks. He's going to try to get to pay. Oh, this time he has some money in there. No charge? Orders from the house. Man likes to know who's buying their drinks, Lloyd. It's not a matter that concerns you, Mr. Torrance. At least not at this point. Mm. Oh. I'm in an awful mess of your jacket, sir. Oh. What was that? What do they call you around here, Jeezy? Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. Grady? Sir? Who's Grady? What's up with his hair? Uh, Miss Grady, weren't you once the caretaker here? <gasps> Is that what his name was? Married man, are you, Mr. Grady? Yes, sir. Hmm? I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Hmm. Where are they now? Oh, they're somewhere around. I'm not quite sure at the moment, sir. Oh, gosh. I recognize you. I saw your picture in the newspapers. You, uh... Oh, gosh. ...dropped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Then you blew your brains out. Oh, what's gonna happen now? I'm sorry to differ with you, sir. But you are the caretaker. You've always been the caretaker. What? Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation? His outside son, sorry, his son is not trying to bring anyone in. Your son has a very great talent. Mm, the shining, or the shine. He is attempting to use that very talent against your will. So I guess he's trying to communicate with the chef guy. It's his mother. She uh, interferes. Perhaps... They need a good talking to. Oh, gosh. My girl, sir. They, one of them actually stole a pack of matches and tried to burn it down. But I corrected them, sir. Oh, no. Tried to prevent me from doing my duty. Corrected her. Corrected, a.k.a. killed. So you're telling him to do the same thing with his son and his wife. Also, I noticed that guy's pupils a moment ago. It's like whenever their pupils get all crazy, that's when you know that they're like, I guess, seeing things. Red rum. What? Red rum. Yeah, that's what he saw in those letters, but that smells murder backwards. Red rum. Red rum. Oh. Oh, no, this is Tony. This makes me scared, but... Wake up. You just had a bad dream. But so far, it seems Tony has tried to warn him of stuff. Not actually done anything bad. <gasps> oh, the radio. Is he going to answer it and then say, Yeah, sure, everything's fine. When nobody's fine. Are you <gasps> oh no like he didn't even um like just he like completely made it so no one can use it great uh we tried to contact them several times by radio but they didn't answer i'll call you back later bye 8 a.m Wow, he's flying out. 
He's like very much aware of the danger that they could be in. I guess the kind of thing that could be happening. My question is, okay, it's one thing to land in Denver, which is covered in snow, but like then from there to make it up to the hotel, I don't, how is he going to do that? Durkin's Garage. Hello, can I speak to Larry? Speaking. Hi, Larry, this is Dick. Dick Halloran. Dick, how you doing? How's the weather down there? <laughs> I think he's in Miami. Larry, just between you and me, we got a very serious problem with the people who are taking care of the place. They turned out to be completely unreliable. <laughs> I guess, sir, we just heard from the news department, Charlie, only a few of the flights are still landing out at Stapleton International Airport. There's like no visibility. Is that still Tony or is Danny back? I'm just going to go and talk to Daddy for a few minutes. Oh. Now I want you to just stay here and watch your cartoons, okay? Yes, this is Tara. Oh, it's still Tony. I don't like this. Don't leave him. For both of your sakes, because Dad does not seem to be super fond of Wendy here. Jack? I'm scared for her. What does it say? Oh my God, I'm so scared for her right now. Because he also didn't want her to read All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I feel like he's going to be somewhere hiding and try to do something to her. I don't know. What? Oh, what's going to... He's going to catch her. He's going to be mad. You're not going to find something different. That's all they say. Every single sheet. Oh, God. He's right there. Oh my goodness. He's right there. I know it. How do you like it? <gasps> what are you doing down here? I just uh, wanted to talk to you. Let's talk. Oh gosh. What do you want to talk about? I can't really remember. Oh my gosh. Maybe it was about Danny. Oh no. His eyes, he knows. I think we should discuss Danny. Oh, I'm so scared. We should discuss what should be done. What do you mean? You believe his health might be at stake. Y yes. This is not Jack talking. I just made a chance to think oh things gosh. over. You've had your whole ping life. Oh, what is his deal with her? I'm not going to hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not going to hurt you. I think you did finish your sentence. Back. What? Stop no. swinging the bat. Well, stop following her. Put the bat down, Wendy. Then stop following her. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. <gasps> oh gosh. Is she carrying him this whole way? What is she doing? Oh, she's going to lock him up somewhere. Is she going to be able to do that? I feel like he's like waking up. Oh no, and he's awake. He's awake. Oh no. Okay, there. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's coming too. He's gonna what realize what's happening. He's gonna. Oh my god. He's, is he gonna grab her? Wendy, listen. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing. It'll be just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Is he able to break out of there? I think you hurt my head real bad. 
I'm dizzy. I need a doctor. Oh. You need to go find your son. I'm gonna go now. Go find Danny, please, and just... Uh. Bring back a doctor. Wendy? I'm gonna go now. What is... Why is he, why is he laughing? What is he gonna do? You got a big surprise. What do you mean? Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. Go check it out. What did he do to the snow cat? Is it gone? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 4 p.m. Okay. Are you going to let him out? Please don't. It's Grady, Mr. Torrance. Oh, great. I see you can hardly have taken care of the business we discussed. I'll deal with that situation as soon as I get out of here. <sighs> I and others have come to believe that your heart is not in this. Just give me one more chance to prove it, Mr. Grady. Oh, my gosh. I fear you will have to deal with this matter in the harshest possible way. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing I look forward to with greater pleasure, Mr. Grady. Wow. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Is this that guy, the chef? Wow, oh, he's determined to get there. Oh, he keeps repeating that. <gasps> That's like what he saw. It was written on a door like that. Red rum. Oh, Red rum. how does she not hear? What, what, what? Oh, she saw that. Okay. Oh. So he, she sees in the, in the mirror. Oh my gosh. Are they going to be able to get out through that tiny little window that's like all snowed in? Oh. Oh no. Okay, what about her? Can she get out? Can she get out? Can she get out? Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, it's too tight. Oh. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. Little pigs. Oh, no. Little pig. Oh no. What is she gonna do? He has an axe. I don't know if a knife is gonna help. Oh my gosh, she's in. Here's Johnny. <gasps> what? Oh. Oh my gosh, she's almost there. She can hear him. And so can he. I mean, I feel like Jack will just kill them all. Unless this guy brought something to like defend himself and everyone else. Why is he back inside? She told him to hide. Well, I guess that's what he's doing. Hiding inside. God, what is he going to be able to do? Hello? <gasps> Hello? This guy is so brave, first of all. But like, oh, what is he going to be able to do? Ah! <gasps> Oh, 
that trip to go to this place for nothing. Great. <gasps> Is she hearing all this? What's happening? So I know they said this was like a Native American burial ground. What is happening? What? Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. I mean, he did, I guess, kind of know his way around this because he used to go in here with his mom when... It wasn't filled with snow, but... I'm coming down! I mean, maybe if, like, Danny could find his way out quickly... He can follow his footsteps. That's the thing. Ah! What? Oh, my gosh! Ah! This is... Oh, my gosh. Is he leaving footprints to, like, confuse him? Oh, my gosh. He's a smart boy. Oh, man. What is she going to see now? Oh, this is what... This is where... Oh... Now she's seeing it too. Great. Yep. See now what's what are you gonna do now? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I mean, now that Jack is lost, like, he's going to have a hard time, I hope, because they said this place was hard to get out of. Oh, my gosh. Are they going to be able to maybe escape in that thing? Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. Don't yell because then he can hear you. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. I mean, he's struggling. He's going to, like, freeze to death in here, I hope. Okay, please get out. Please, please go. Wow. What's going to happen to him? I mean, at the end of the day, like, this is... Not who he is. It's like something happened to him at this place. Wow. These pictures are like the parties at that. That Jack was hanging out at. Wait, what? That's him. That's him. Nineteen twenty one. Oh, my God. Wow, that was that was a crazy movie. Oh my gosh, that was so creepy. That had me nervous the entire. I mean, I feel like from the very like opening scenes, I see these beautiful places, beautiful scenery, and this music. Wow, like how like I feel like the music in this movie was like one of the main characters because it just like 
I felt like I had knots in my stomach. And like, I think I even mentioned in the beginning that as I was watching the car, like going through the windy roads, but it was like a beautiful, bright, sunny day. You just see these beautiful like mountains and forests and all the, all these things. And I was just like, if there was like happy, cheerful sounding music, I would be like, oh, look, it's probably someone going on a fun road trip, a little adventure. Ooh, like it was so beautiful, these places. And then with that music, I was just like, this feels ominous. This feels feels not right something bad is gonna happen any moment and wow it's hard like I it's hard for me to understand I mean as I was watching it like I was confused about like what was actually happening to Jack like he arrived and he seemed like he was fine there was nothing wrong and I couldn't tell if it was like he was like possessed or he started to like actually have like a mental breakdown and you know lack of sleep and maybe he was being like tormented or something and like there was things that were keeping him up at night or whatever it was and it was just like you know the cabin fever like the guy said in the beginning like he was having like an actual mental breakdown or like then I'm like wait is he the is he like the ghost like was he a ghost all along and I'm curious because you know at the end we see him in that picture from the 1920s I think it was and in that like celebration I'm like I wonder if he's like a ghost all along. maybe he like lost his way and he's like finding his way back or like because it was the same face but then what's also confusing is that then we like we did see him like actually die I guess in the snow also when I saw that image of him like dead in the snow I mean it was shocking I freaked out but also that's like a meme isn't it I feel like I've seen that image I just always I never questioned where that came from I thought it could be anything like it could just be I don't know someone in a costume or whatever but I never ever ever thought to put two and two together also I'll be honest like this actor Jack Nicholson I've always heard his name but I don't think I've seen any of his movies and I know people will be like what what's wrong with you I've just never been a big movie watcher and I'm getting to discover really amazing movies through this channel which is really really fun but um yeah like I'm so curious to watch more of his movies like I was actually um looking a second like I wanted to look on my phone and like see what else he's been in because wow like he was incredible in this movie I thought I mean my gosh like the way that he like with his like he could have like a it wasn't a full smile at times it was like this look on his face that was like you know sheer terror and with like a smirk and like oh my god it was chilling that was crazy wow <laughs> I'm like in shock and also I was just I don't know it was just like we, we saw like a couple things that were like a little bit creepy like the two little girls Oh, I don't even want to say it. Like, just remembering the image of them makes me a little nervous. Or like when Danny would have like, I guess, I don't know, like those visions or whatever it was. But it was like very few and far in between at first. It was more like the buildup. And like every like every moment there would be, I don't know, he would tear a paper out of the typewriter and I would like jump. And like every I was so nervous and tired entire movie like any little thing could happen and I would like like just I don't know freak out and like jump and like it was nothing and I to me that just says like wow like how do they do this like that was amazing I, again I think it's like that music it's his acting it's all like all of it together obviously but this movie just had me on edge made me so nervous and that that was so interesting and it was like a lot of the things that were happening I, I, as I was watching I'm like why is this happening like this is pointless but I've heard people, I've heard someone say that like nothing's pointless in a movie. Like, I don't know exactly what the like idea is, but like if you show a like a, a weapon in the first scene of a movie, like it better come up at some other scene or something. Like the idea that like nothing is by accident when like in any scene in a movie. But like, for example, when the guy goes in the beginning, like, oh, yeah, you better not you know, go into that maze unless you have an hour to spare to find your way out. And it was like, I just brushed it off. And then when I see like mom, like when before it starts snowing with um, Wendy, with her son going in there and I'm like, why are we doing this? Like, this is pointless. Like, there's like 
go inside. Like you're wasting your time. I don't know. It just felt like like it's cold and you're by yourselves. Like if you get stuck in there, like what if it takes longer than an hour and then like you're with your little son and he's like cold or has to go to the bathroom. Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking like this is not this doesn't seem like a good idea. Just like, why are they doing this? But in the end, it's like that was what saved them. <laughs> like the fact that they had been doing that. Also, I was so confused, not confused, but I was just so disappointed. I mean, I was terrified and heartbroken, but also disappointed when we see what was his name? Mr. Halloran. Halloran. I don't remember how you pronounced it. How you pronounce it? He goes through all of this trouble, so much courage and bravery and like conviction and all sorts of things to like figure out a way to get to that hotel because he knows that something is wrong. And he gets there and in a split second, that's it. He gets an ax through like his heart and he's done. And I'm like, are you serious? Like he came all the way here. They went through so much trouble, like took so many risks along the way with like the snowy roads and there were you no know, cars and accidents and all these things. And he went through all of that just so that then he could go into the hotel and not be there for more than like a minute. And then he's dead. I'm like, are you serious? Oh, what was the point of all that journey? But like, it's sad that he lost his life. But in the end, he, he also he saved them because he was a, he was without him. They wouldn't have had a way to escape. And even if like Jack would have died in the snow the way he did, and maybe they would have survived. Like, how would they have gotten out? They didn't even have a way of communicating because he messed up the radio and they didn't have any other way of getting out they would have had to just stay in that stay in that terrifying terrifying place until what like may was it i think i wrote it down from like yeah every may they open it back up that would have been terrible and yeah wow that was such a good movie but this was one where i mean you guys suggested it and halfway through i'm like why am i doing this i was thinking to myself i'm like if i was if, if like I just like was watching this and like for no good reason, just being watching it by myself, I would have like turned it off and said, I can't go through with this because that was scary. That was a lot. I I kind of chickened out halfway through, but I pushed through. You guys recommended it and I'm glad that you did. So thank you so much for suggesting this one. And yeah, I think I have another one left in my list that you guys had suggested that I watch this month. Um, so I'm super excited. Yeah, I think it's Halloween. It's called again. Also, never heard of it came out, I think, even before this one. So I'm not familiar, but uh, several of you recommended that I watch it. So I'll be watching that soon. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, YouTube. it's probably already uh halloween's probably already up on patreon so if you're interested in checking that out feel free to head on over but yeah the only thing i'd love to ask if is if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i would love it if you subscribed it really helps me so much i appreciate all of your support i've been having an amazing time this month going through and watching some of these scary movies with you guys and yeah it's like interesting like all these different genres that i'm like i don't know not familiar with like a lot of the classics and and the movies that like you know really made a big impact so i'm so excited to continue watching some more with you guys and i would love it if you subscribe to the channel so we can continue on this journey together um but yeah that is all i have to say so thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye